It's been an eyesore and a central hub for crime and illegal activity for years. It's been a blight and cancer to the neighborhood. Prostitution, drug dealing. Now a long-standing Oak Park Hotel is being forced to close. Johnson's Greenbrier Motel is located on Stockton Boulevard. It shut down last week, vacating all tenants. CBS 13, Sharon Roger joins us live from Oak Park with more on the issue and what's next for the area, Sharon. Yeah, Tony and Christina, this motel has been a problem for years. It sits across from a church in a residential area, and it's raised concerns about safety. Now, through a collaborative effort, there'll be some big changes to this boulevard. Drugs, narcotics, uh, illegal firearms, prostitution. From simply looking from the outside, Johnson's Greenbrier Motel on Stockton Boulevard is run down and poorly maintained. Sacramento police say the calls of service here have been draining resources for years. A high volume of calls for service that has impacted our patrol resources because all of those police officers are responding to this location. Over the last five years at this location alone, police have fielded hundreds of calls, 572 from citizens and 672 police initiated calls from suspicious behavior to probation searches to crimes in progress. For anybody who's living in the neighborhood here, they want this place to be a safe place for their kids and their family. I know in the future I want my son to feel comfortable on Stockton Boulevard. It's not that way now. City Council Member Eric Guerra lives nearby. We're working to make this property better so that we can relive and revive uh, Stockton Boulevard. Bringing a new ownership, I think we're, we are going to turn a new leaf. With safety on the mind, the Stockton Boulevard partnership, along with police and other community groups, have been monitoring this issue for months, looking for solutions. And finally, the motel was forced to shut down last week, and a boutique hotel is expected to move in. I just hope, like I said, I hope that they put something in here that's affordable to the the people who don't have things. Some are concerned about gentrification. I think when people think boutique, they always think something high end, but the fact is, it just means something different. A lot of folks in the neighborhood here want to see this place revived, and we're going to make a good balanced approach to make sure that we have something that fits the neighborhood. A lot of relief for a lot of neighbors in this area, and the tenants of this motel had to move out last week. The city tells me through their Cash for Keys program, they're helping those tenants relocate. Meanwhile, the new hotel is going to take some time, but likely be up by next year. Sharin Roger, live in Oak Park for us tonight. Sharin, thank you.